The Asheville Police Department is under review this week, hoping to get reaccredited. But is the money the city spends on it worth it? News 13's Kimberly King joins us with this reality check. Kim? Darcel, the agency that assesses APD's policies last accredited the department in 2011 after major problems in the evidence room were uncovered. And that has some questioning if the stamp of approval from the accrediting agency really has any meaning at all. Kalia, the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement, has sent two of their own independent assessors to review APD's procedures and report back to their national commission. The equipment that they have, the, um, how evidence is collected, how it's preserved. The accreditation process itself is uh, to establish professionalism within the organization. It's not going to be a catch-all for anything that goes on in any organization. And that is the question. If Kalia's reaccreditation carries any weight at issue, APD's 2011 evidence room scandal. We are well aware of the incident that happened with the, the former custodian of the property. And it's, in my opinion, an isolated incident. You have one employee who did not follow the policies and the procedures. That was true, but in fact just part of the scandal. Years before, in 2005, Kalia determined APD's evidence room annual inspections were minimal. Only 10 items were even audited, but Kalia reaccredited APD. In 2008, Kalia found property evidence outstanding in all respects and property areas very well maintained. But in 2011, as the evidence room scandal unraveled with missing guns, drugs and money, key criminal evidence for cases was missing. I just think that things should be monitored more carefully so that these kind of outbreaks don't happen. Dawn Neese questions why the city has paid tens of thousands of dollars over 20 years for assessments and still got reaccredited in 2011. I feel like it's just the novelty of saying they're accredited and not really having any value or meaning. But assessors like Susan Maycock, with years of police experience, dispute that, saying Kalia has high standards, that the commission's job is to review policies and procedures that help to catch problems like the evidence room that's now improved. I do know that from when we went down there today, the custodian that is there now has put in a number of extra measures. Uh, for instance, um, when a custodian goes in, two custodians have to go in. One is never allowed in the room alone. Bottom line, Kalia is not a watchdog group. I contacted Kalia's headquarters to ask how many police agencies they've rejected for accreditation. A spokeswoman said she could not answer that question, saying the agency does not keep track of those numbers, allowing departments that don't meet standards to pull out of the process.